obviously what you guys did in, in Golden State blues to there's drama drama yeah there's cool. tweets there's different things that people don't know what anything means and then you guys go into Boston you win shorthanded and you, you close off with two more wins what did this trip tell you about this group if anything um, when we put our minds still we can be any team in this league uh, you know we lost two we feel like we should have won um, that we want to that the people in Nevada thought we should lose. So, um, you know, when we buckle down defensively and play the right way, play Laker basketball, then we're a tough team to beat. And, um, you know, we're always going always to fight. You know, obviously, we don't like how this one, you know, slipped away from us, but, you know, we ended up getting it done. But, uh, very confident in the group and you know what we're able to do when we put our minds to it. In the in the first half, it seemed like that was you guys had quote unquote Laker basketball. There were stops, transition, highlights. Um, when you guys hit that level, how fun is it? Super fun. Um, guys are making shots. We playing the right way, swinging the basketball, uh, getting stops. Um, it's who we are, you know. You know, we, it's who we want our identity to be. Uh, don't always seem to happen that way, like. Kind of, you know, end of the third, couple minutes left in the third, and you know, most of the fourth quarter. But when we're playing freely and fun and playing with pace, um, sharing the basketball, then you know, it's fun um, to watch on the sidelines, on the bench, but also you know, fun to be on the court and be a part of it. Uh, has the, the amount of passing, playmaking, um, assists that you've collected over, I guess, the last month or so. Has that been an involvement of this team and its offense, and does that point towards a direction that you guys could use in the final third of the season as you build towards the postseason? Yeah, um, knowing that guys are going to you know, double-team me a lot, uh, it's my job to play make um, out of the post. Uh, you know, our guys are doing a good job of cutting and moving off the basketball, and I just got to make those reads. But um, we get a lot of good things uh, you know, when the ball goes in the post, and not just me, but Brown as well, and, and even D-Lo at times, <clears throat> Rui, and when guys start to double team, which is usually going to be usually just me and Brown, um, it's our job to make the right reads, and uh, the other guys got a job to, to make the shots, so um, I'm just trying to make the right reads, make the right plays, and now uh, when they don't double, then you know, that's when I try to go look to score. What's that? What's that process like? You know, when you're watching film and you're, I guess, evaluating like how guys are doubling you or where they're coming from. Like, what's the process like when you actually implement it and you're just seeing, I guess, passing lanes or reasons that you did like a couple months ago from the uh, I just need to know one thing. You know, where they're doubling from. You know, each team kind of has a a scheme where they like to double, whether it's on a catch, uh, on a dribble, from the feeder, or they're like coming from the baseline. Um, once I know that, then I know where everybody's going to be. Uh, and then I just made the reach from there. On Thursday, um, the team is going to unveil a Kobe statue mm -hmm. outside. Um, we played out there, right? You do? Yeah. We played Denver after. Um, is there a an iconic image or pose or, or something in your mind when you think of Kobe like that is? That would be the statue? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he has so many. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of, kind of tough to, to kind of say. I mean, I know they don't have like they want to do too much, you know, for the statue. But uh, I'm curious to see what what it'll be. I mean, you kind of see the um, when they have uh, it was talking. Well, it was just talks, but it wasn't a real talk from like the league about changing the logo. Mm -hmm. And they had this picture or a silhouette up there, so maybe it's that. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's a turnaround. Maybe it's a. I don't know. I uh, mean, but. I was, knowing, what cool to, knowing what he meant to you, um, what's that going to feel like being a part of this organization the day they do that? Uh, it's obviously going to mean a lot. Uh, you know, meant a lot to me. Um, you know, big brother, mentor. Uh, kind of started, I guess, my career alongside him, you know, in the Olympics, you know, kind of just being on his wing. Um, teaching me the game, teaching me about life and everything. And uh, so it'll be 
I don't know, it'd be a cool moment, you know, obviously to see that, but then, you know, kind of, you know, reliving it again uh, in a sense. So, I don't know. I mean, emotions would be high for me for sure, but uh, it'd be a cool thing for sure. That it, kind of have a statue outside. Eddie, how did that relationship evolve from you know, Team USA to your early success in the league and then up to the point where you're a Laker yeah, with Kobe? Um, a lot. I mean, I, it was a stretch where he was, he had this thing where he was sending God's tweets, I mean, uh, texts like MVP this year or defense player this year. Like, he was doing that. And um, I mean, one year he didn't text me. And I was like, what the hell? So I texted him. Like, what about me? And then he gave me like a, a list of things. Um, but then just come full circle, you know, you know, playing for the Lakers, uh, an organization where he played for 20 years and, you know, left his legacy here and then being able to put on a Laker uniform and uh, kind of just be a part of that in a sense. Um, you know, it's no better feeling. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, I was going to ask about, <laughs> uh, about Rui and, and the new starting lineup. It felt like he was able to get a lot of mismatches against smaller defenders yeah. just because they're throwing size at you and LeBron. So what, with that new front line, what, what kind of challenges does it pose for defenses with the physicality and the size? Yeah, I mean, Rui 6'8". Uh, we can post him up. He's a good rebounder, good finisher. Um, and we try to expose that, you know. Um, the bigger guys probably gonna be on, like you say, me and Braun, and then they even try to put. They're usually a good defender, um, who's usually a bigger guy, you know, D'Lo and they are. So Rui's usually left with a smaller guy, and uh, we just take a, try to take advantage of that and have him, you know, post up or duck in or off the glass and um, kind of get him going.